Hello and welcome to drillingcontractor.org. I'm Ava Vig reporting from the IADC DEC Technology Forum in Houston. I'm here with Joseph Shear, President and CEO of Greenfire Energy, who's going to tell us about the company's proprietary geothermal technology, Eco2G. Joseph, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Despite the large potential of geothermal energy, the vast majority of geothermal resources remain untapped. What are the main barriers to developing large-scale geothermal energy? That's a great question because uh, obviously wind and solar have really taken over the renewable energy landscape. And I would put it in three categories, really. One is risk, speed to market, and pricing. So from a risk point of view, geothermal greenfield projects, traditional hydrothermal projects, are pretty risky. They take a long time and you have to incur a lot of expense in that process. Whereas if you're, and from a timing point of view, that takes many years, so the development process is quite long. And if you compare it to, for example, uh, putting solar panels on your roof, well, you can do that in an afternoon, not two or three years of advanced planning and two, a couple years of drilling. So I think the geothermal industry has gotten behind the eight ball there and lost out to other renewable technologies, even though it has many great advantages over those technologies. And then from a pricing point of view, many uh, good geothermal areas, such as California, where I am, the contracts are really aren't available for base load, which is what geothermal is. Instead, uh, there's a race to the bottom in terms of afternoon pricing and where wind and solar are better. So they've had, uh, so geothermal has had some barriers. We don't think those barriers are going to last uh, from a regulatory pricing point of view. And then with our technology, we think we address uh, the risk and time to performance uh, issues. Can you tell us about Green Fire's technology and how it compares to conventional geothermal technologies? I'd be very happy to do that. Um, we have two technologies. One is uh, what we call Eco2G retrofit, and that is going into existing hydrothermal uh, wells that aren't producing or aren't producing very well and retrofitting them with, with our down bore heat exchanger technology so that they can be producing. If you can make a uh, non-producing asset a producing asset and get one to three megawatts per uh, well, that's, that's really gravy and we have a, we think, a two or three cents per kilowatt hour price on converting those wells. And that is the low-hanging fruit for us for actually several years. Uh, however, one of the things I was talking to the drilling industry about is the holy grail, and that is uh, uh, drilling our own holes with maybe some of the newer technologies, maybe existing technologies. But if the price points are there, existing technology can get us uh, deeper and hotter into a resource. And what we do is circulate refrigerants in a closed-loop system. So back to risk as a key problem in the geothermal industry. If all you're doing is seek, seeking heat and 98% of the geothermal resource in the country, if not the world, is in hot dry rock, you aren't seeking permeability and you aren't seeking water, then we de-risk the industry uh, dramatically from that point of view. How can Greenfire's uh, technology improve geothermal economics? Principally by reducing risk. For the retrofit uh, business uh, I'm talking about, we uh, believe that if uh, we are simply fixing existing geothermal wells, we can often tap into the existing surface system uh, so that the costs are, are much lower than you would anticipate for a separate new geothermal operation. For our full-scale Eco2G drilling holes, we believe that with advanced drilling technologies and many of the topics and challenges we were discussing in the, in the uh, presentation today, uh, we will be able to bring those projects in more reliably with less risk at a reasonable price. And that's uh, often not predictable in the geothermal industry as it is now. Well, Joseph, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure. And thank you, viewers, for joining us on drillingcontractor.org.